Carl. Easy. The, um, tie up. Oh, yeah, you still rock. Damn, I, I tackled you. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Welcome back, Warriors fans, to another episode of One Take, the official podcast of the One New Zealand Warriors. And we have a sponsor now, so shout out to the TAB for jumping on board. Nice Great call. to have them in the mix. Good. Producer Jacko, he's behind the buttons today. Yo, How yo, are yo. you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm good, mate. You boys are the stars today, so Yeah, she's a full over. couch, so let's rip into it. We've got two of the greats, Chance and Marada. Great to have you on the show, lads. Cheers for jumping on. Too easy, bro. Thanks for having us, man. Easy. Right. Thanks for having us, boys. Bit of a uh, life chat before we get into from some footy stuff, but back in NZ, school holidays, I'm sure there's plenty on for the boys at the moment. How are you enjoying being back? Yeah, loving being back home. Obviously get to catch up with my kids a, a fair bit now and school holidays, making the most of it yeah. in the backyard. They just want to catch high balls, so <laughs> trying to practice with that, it's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, The kids are into footy? Yeah, love their footy, eh? Yeah. They're playing um, the rugby league live game on PS4 at the <laughs> moment and heaps of fights going on there, so... <laughs> Love that. How about you, Marata? Uh, yeah, similar to Chance. Um, yeah. Just love being back. Um, kids are loving it at um, daycare, so, um, you know, whenever they're home, you know, they're always fighting and whatnot, so <laughs> kind of good to get away and um, be around the boys over here. Love that. And obviously a big win on the weekend, a bounce-back win for the boys as well over at Para. Pretty special occasion for milestone games to go over there and get a win like that. Must have been a pretty cool game to be a part of. Yeah, those games are always special to be a part of, especially when these... Four, four of them at the same time doing it and for us to be able to bounce back like we did is really important for um, not only us as a playing group but the club as well and we're glad to get the job done. For sure, Lukey Met went all right too, eh, the kid? I hear he's getting a bit of press now. I know Jacko's a big fan of his, but two meaties. Looks like he's really established himself in the side now. Yeah, he's doing a great job, Lukey. He's he's um, finding his feet week in, week out and he's only going to grow with confidence and Oh, Mullers wouldn't be able to play outside him because he's on my side, but <laughs> yeah, he's doing a good job. And Marata, unfortunately, you didn't get the chance to lace up against your old team, but no doubt you're playing close attention. The boys in the middle had a bit of a day, eh? Mitchy, Jacko, they, they had a strong performance. Yeah, hard. It's probably one of those games that you want to try and be a part of. And for myself, um, I was kind of at home, um, you know, just trying to be a fanboy. And <laughs> yeah. every time the boys are, you know, piling on the points, it was kind of good to see. But um, yeah, they definitely put on a show and it um, was a um, fun part just to be watching at home. Another tough game this weekend, taking on the Sharks back at home. A team what that that went earlier in the season, that was unreal. So no doubt another tough test this weekend. Yeah, another tough test. They, you know, informed side of the competition this year and, you know, they were last year as well. So for us, it, it goes back to ourselves. We need to worry about what, what we bring to the to the game and uh, most importantly to the week. You know, you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail. So for us, it's it's all about us. Sure. I wanted to touch on your guys' journeys back to the club. Obviously, you both went away and now you're back home. Marata, you played your under-20s footy here and then went to Para for about five years and had a successful stint over there as well. So how's your time at Parramatta and how good is it to be back? Yeah, um, obviously a journey and um, obviously being told from you know your club that you grew up um, idolising um, that you're not wanted here. And obviously went over and um, you know learned my craft over there and you know was super grateful for my time over there. But um, you know the opportunity to come back, um, you know, and try and add my one percent to a club that means so much to me is um, you know it was an opportunity I couldn't turn down. For sure, and Chance, you had a similar situation. You went away to Canberra, established yourself as a top sh- top shelf fullback, and now you're back ripping it up. Did you ever think like that you'd be back at the Warriors? Um, no, I didn't think I was going to be back at the Warriors. Actually, I was just cracking up because me and Mullers got told the same thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, hi, did up. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, it's it's cool to be welcome back. You know, and obviously with the experience that we've both been able to um, have over in Australia, it's good to be able to bring it back home sort of add our our one percenters like Muller's saying to to the team and you know we just want to bring su- success to this club um and su- sustain success as well so that's a really big driver for the both of us and it's good to see the club reaping the rewards at the moment but we both know it's it doesn't stop here yeah for sure and walking back through the gates on day one it must have been a pretty surreal feeling can you tell us a bit about that like the emotions day one preseason back at Mount Smart yeah man it was it was so crazy it was so surreal didn't ever think I'd have the opportunity to be able to come back and, and play for the home club again to be able to walk through you know see the Simon Mannering mural it was crazy it just brought back so many good memories and um, creating some new ones at the moment so it's, it's pretty cool yeah similar to Chance just you know driving down Beasley Ave 
kind of like brings back a lot of memories from 20s days driving down there at five o'clock in the afternoon instead of bloody stuff like that. So, um, no, um, definitely something, um, you know, to look forward to when I definitely, or when I came back and, um, like Chan said, um, just all that little stuff like driving in and seeing all the Simon Mannering mural and all that. And, um, yeah, just trying to soak it all in, I guess. Was it a weird feeling? Because I know when your guys' signings were announced, us as fans, we were really excited to have you back. Like you said, you guys left because you felt kind of unwanted. Then you're coming back. There's all this fanfare around you and your your two big signings for this year. Was it like a different mindset for you guys? What do you think, Mullers? <laughs> <laughs> he was just excited uh, to get back to the bakery. Yeah. Wendy's. 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 Yeah. Um, oh, I was. yeah. Um, I think just... Um, what the club went through, I guess, um, the whole relocation and um, just we were kind of stuck um, for myself. We were, I was, when I was at Power, we were stuck in the same bubble um, as the Warriors and Goldie back in um, 2021. And um, to see what they went through mm. and to um, kind of look back on their journey and to hopefully not put myself in that position and you know, try and tell my story, I guess, and um, hopefully help. You know, a lot of the young guys, you know, we've got a group of young boys at the moment who, um, you know, I can see like definitely taking over my position at some stage and, um, to, you know, hopefully help and guide them in somewhat way was definitely a key factor of me coming here. Yeah. Charles. Yeah. It was, you know, really exciting to be able to come back home and I guess be a, a signing for the club that everyone was looking forward to. Um, I think the prospect of being able to rub shoulders with a few boys coming through that I had been uh, back in the days was was pretty exciting. Played with Mullers, Jazzy, Bunty, Sean, yeah. uh, just to name a quick few there. So to be able to come back with a bit of experience and you know try to put the club a club in, in a in a better stead that was a, a real driving uh, factor for for me to come home and like I said, sustain success. Talking to the lads, and they all mention like how tight you guys are as a group on and off the field. The culture in the team, I can imagine it's pretty different to what you had over in those Aussie clubs. Is it just like the fact it's the one Kiwi side, all the lads kind of get around each other? I think it's just like all the young fellas, eh? You kind of, like when we were young, we were kind of like quiet and like, yeah. kind of just hold back and let all the senior boys, you know, do the talking yeah. at the moment. It's just like, you know, everyone kind of wants to create a culture where, you know, everyone's um, accepted over here and yeah. um, that's definitely something that I've noticed since being back. I think that's driven from Webby too, mm. you know, these these no leadership group here, mm. you know, he always expresses that the youngest player can always be a leader too, so yeah. it's it's all voices I heard from, from, you know, if you're in the top 35 or if you're a rookie just coming in for the week, so you've got the same, your words hold the same weight as it does, you know, one of the older boys in the club and I think a lot of the rookies are benefiting from that. Yeah, you touched on Webby there, kind of driving the culture. You two have both had some some pretty big name coaches in the past. What's kind of the difference between Webby and how are you enjoying his kind of coaching style? How do you think it's bringing the best out of you two? I think for me it's just the confidence that he installs in, into an individual. I feel like since I've gotten here, you know, I've I've really enjoyed being under him. Feel like I'm a rookie again, learning new things. Mm -hmm. And he's always just said, you know, he just wants you to be confident in your ability. You're here for a reason, and those are all things that you know help you as a player. And you just want to play for for a coach like that. So I think that's what's brought the best out of me for this year. And yeah, my yeah, mind's pretty much similar, I guess. Just um, you know, just the confidence, and you know, him just breaking down my game into you know the simple parts. You know, stuff that um, fans don't really see. So that's probably the one thing that I've noticed since being back is, yeah, that he's just been um, driving a lot of the basics and um, you can obviously see, um, see on the field all the boys are reaping the awards. Yeah, for sure. One thing I've been loving about our game so far this year is the work of the back three. Obviously yourself, Dallin Mars, been going great guns, but you know, every week you guys are right up there, the meter eaters. Was that a big focus for you guys like coming into preseason? Because all three of you carry the ball pretty hard. Yeah, it's it's something that we've sort of built towards. It was something that we all expressed to each other, you know, round one was something that we wanted to achieve was, you know, having a, a back three that had authority in the in the competition, I guess, and stamped their stamped their place. So for us, it's just about making sure that we're always improving and, you know, we, we're always catching up, always making each other accountable. There's no, um, I guess, big heads. You know, the ego is not bigger than 
the the individual uh, than the team. So I guess the boys doing the work it really helps, and you're seeing the results of that on the field. I guess. Yeah, for sure. And you yourself, bro, just watching from the stands, I'm tired just watching you. You get through a lot of work, bro. <laughs> Often two or three carries per set, especially getting us out of our own end. Like, is that something you pride yourself on? Just like your work ethic, always being there for the boys, doing some of those tough carries because there's not many fullbacks that do that. Yeah, it's it's something that I feel I can contribute to the team. And if I can, you know, add add value to the team in whatever way, shape or form, then I feel like that's that's my duty, especially as a fullback. I need to lead from the back, and majority of the time, it's sort of us sort of starting the set. So I have to lead the way for for the the backfield, and I guess I take that personal. I just wanted Benny to jump off the back of that because it's something that I noticed as well, bro. Like energy is what like Chance, you bring so much energy carrying the ball, and then Mud as you do it on the other side mm. with your defense. So when you guys are in those moments, particularly going set for set. I'm going to give um, t- bangers Tohu a rap as well because I think he's one of the best in the comp at it and I don't like giving him a rap. But um, uh, Mudders, is that something that, bro, like when you see Nut carrying the ball and Mars and Dallin, do you then take it upon yourself or as a forward pack to then go, okay, we can match that defensively because it seems like a nice one-two punch mm. from an energy perspective anyway. Yeah, um, it's something that's obviously built um, from round one all the way up until now and something that we've been working on and, you know, um, I'll dive in deeper and I probably got challenged a couple of weeks ago about, you know, wanting to take, you know, two carries a set or something like that, eh? Yes. And I think ever since that game, you know, he's taken that um, as a challenge and, um, you know, from a forward um, perspective, you know, it's something that we always look forward to and we know, you know, the type of carries that, you know, he does and kind of makes all the forwards want to play off the back of him. So, um, you know, it's something that we look forward to and um, it's definitely inspiring. On the other side, Nuck, when you get through that work and then you see your mate here or... Barney or um, even Wado put a shot on, that must feel like, okay, that was Bro, worth it's it. It's mean, eh? Five, I've got the best seat in the house just <laughs> yeah. looking at the back and five, it's, it's, it's so mean. It's it's so inspiring like Muller's saying and you just want to just give more of yourself over to the team. You want to do better. You want to run harder, tackle harder, you know, work a bit harder around the back if you're if we're on our try line. So, no, nah, they're all inspiring moments. Yeah, you touched on it a bit there. I was going to say, Marata, you're a bit of an enforcer, bro. And Shawnee was on here the other week <laughs> saying that. Like, I love that word. I had to throw it in. Yeah. But Shawnee was saying that you, he feels like you've made him a better player, both on attack and defensively. How have you enjoyed teaming up with him? Oh, that definitely starts from the top. Like We've been talking about this whole podcast about Webby. Mm. But then again, you know, you get the likes of Shawnee and, you know, his experience and he's given me confidence to let me allow, allow me to, um, play my game. And, you know, that's obviously the aggressive side of, um, the football and, um, you know, the way he's playing this year is probably out of his skin. And, you know, that's just built on the back of, you know, all the boys, I guess, this year. And being an enforcer, unfortunately, yeah. sometimes suspensions come and go. It's all part of the game. But obviously you'll be fizzing to rip back in, what, next week against Canberra. You'll be excited to get back out on the paddock. Yeah, um, obviously been a long three weeks, and um, you know the trainers have definitely been into me. And, <laughs> yeah, um, you know I'm on the downhill now, and so I can kind of see the light. So yeah, um, can't wait to get, you know get back over here and you know rip in before bye. Yeah, I was speaking to uh, Joshy Carr, and he was mentioning a few of you boys have been battling in that uh, that group with the trainers, but yeah. a head noise. The boys must be fuzzing, oh, especially when the boys travel like last weekend. You know, you yeah. kind of see um, what they're up to, and you know. Us on Saturday morning, oh. <laughs> <laughs> out on number two, bloody pissing down. So, yeah. oh, I seen the photos. I seen the photos. <laughs> yeah, that was lonely, bro. <laughs> yeah. So what? Seven games left. Five of them at home. That must be a pretty cool feeling. Like, just how much of a lift does it give the boys being back at Mount Smart? I think it gives the boys such a huge lift. You know, even you speaking about it, man. We've we 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 are happy with where we are at, where we're at the moment, but we're not content. We mm. know there's still so much more work to go, and I feel like we've got such a good opportunity. We have two games leading into a bye, and then yeah. we have a good five games heading into finals. So, yeah, it's just about making sure that we all buy in. You know, give ourselves over to the team, making sure that we're you know uh, compounding those one percenters that Mala's talking about to um, help benefit the side and yourself as an individual and give yourself every opportunity to play play your best footy this back end of the season. I think that's the pleasing thing, eh? It's just that, you know, we've notched together a couple of wins, but, you know, we're not happy with those wins. You know, Webby's been um, 
massive advocate for, you know, let's celebrate at that moment. And as soon as that moment's finished, you know, let's move on, let's find ways of trying to, you know, be better. And, you know, we nailed that on the head um, yesterday when we come back and um, we're pretty much straight on to the next job. Um, we know who we're facing this week and we know the competition that lies ahead. And, um, yeah, we haven't looked too far ahead of ourselves. And, um, yeah, we're just kind of building um, week to week. I wanted to just touch on that as well, Mud, is like when you say week to week, you spoke about at the top of this that this was a club you idolised growing up um, as well as the local bakeries here. But, bro, I wanted to talk about the idea that we might have 30,000 yeah. potentially here um, on Sunday. It'll be the biggest crowd since 1995. For two boys who I know you are proud Kiwis and you're proud Warriors fans and now you're obviously players, um, without getting too far ahead of ourselves, thinking about Sunday, 30,000 at Mount Smart. Um, I'll start with you, Mudders, and, and then you knock, but that must be pretty special to think about, bro. Oh. Well, I feel jealous for the break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry, I know it hurts, but one game away. But, um, <laughs> yeah, to think, um, you know, the last time we had an outing over here, um, you know, to see how much, you know, our footy means to the country. You know, it's obviously something special and something that the country hasn't experienced in a while. So, for us as players, um, you know, we need to soak in all of these moments as much as we can, and um, to think that you know we can get thirty thousand people over here is. Crazy. Oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah. And knock so. the idea that you're going to be running out um, in front of that, assuming you get through the week, bro. But um, how's that, bro? Nah, it's it's really exciting. It's such a buzz being able to, you know, run out to a crowd like Muller's mm-hmm. is saying and, you know, to do it in front of our home fans as well. I, you know, never really thought about how bad it was for the boys overseas. I didn't really put myself in their shoes. And it, it was really... Um, yeah, it was really it was upsetting seeing them. We 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 shared stories at the start of the year about where we've come from, families, whatnot, and to know that some of them are real family orientated and they mm-hmm. they didn't get the opportunity to to be with their families, you know, the last couple of years, it really hit home for me. So, um, you know, for for us to be home now and to be playing in front of our home crowd and the way that everyone's turning up is, man, it's crazy, so electric. Mm-hmm. Yeah, do you guys like sense it in the streets? Because even me as a fan, like I'll just wear. <laughs> like a training t-shirt out to the supermarket and you get hit with the up the wires. Like, do you guys really sense that passion amongst the fans? Yeah, no, I, we, we definitely do. It's yeah. something that just, you know, comes out of nowhere, which is cool. Mm. You got a lot of passionate fans and, you know, passionate fans is what's getting us through through these um, big games. So mm. definitely need it. You like the up the wires? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> I up, 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 up the wall. <laughs> hey, there that we TikTok go. of that guy going around at the Paris Stadium. That, was yeah, like, oh, me. that guy's actual on. Well, on that on that paragraph, right? That felt like a home game. Like you could oh, hear man. them through the TV screens. Like how good is that? Not just to have the fans here, really getting behind the boys, but in Aussie, like the away games sound like home games again. Must give the guys a massive love. Yeah, no, nah, definitely does. It's. I was looking around when I started hearing the chants, and I was thinking, man, where's all the? I thought it was. A, <laughs> Parry game. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it's so cool to see the buzz, not mm. only in New Zealand, but across the ditch as well. That was me and the Butch just up there banging the drum, <laughs> top of their West End. I believe it was the Butch. <laughs> I don't know about you. Butch always goes hard. And yeah. obviously, as fans, we can't help but get excited. Like, the team's coming in sick. We've got a good run home. That question of finals footy is always in the back of our minds. You two have both played grand finals pretty recently, but I guess in terms of, like, the team, you can kind of get a sense when a team is a finals footy side. So is that the sense you guys are getting at the moment from your experience? Yeah, I think it's not only the buzz that we have at the joint, it's also the whole country that's, you know, behind us. And when you get that kind of feeling, it obviously gives you a lot of confidence heading into those, you know, September footy. And, um, yes, um, in terms of, like, similarities, you know, I can definitely feel um, those feelings that we had last year over here. And um, it's definitely something that we're looking forward to um, come September. Yeah, similar to some others, the same feeling um, as I've had previously at, at the Raiders. I think the main thing we have to do is look back on, on evidence and, you know, the hard work that we've put in. These been games where we've shown resilience mm. and we we know that from those games we're able to build build from and it's a really good platform to stand up of. So it's, it's just about making sure that we're always worrying about ourselves week in, week out, keep our eye on the job and, you know, we're not we're not done yet. Last one for me before we rip into some fan questions because I know Jacko's got plenty of them, but you're not just Warriors players, you're rep footy players as well and you've both played for both the Cook Islands and the Kiwis. How special is that to have been able to both represent your heritages? Yeah, it's pretty special for me. 
play. I didn't realize there was a Cook Islands team when I first played for them in 2015, and to get the call and mm. to be able to represent a culture that I, I I was representing back back in New Zealand when I was younger it was it was so surreal. And and then to build from that and work towards the Kiwis, you know, an iconic moment for me was when they won that World World Cup yeah. in 08. So that's where it started for me the journey and where I wanted to get to and to to reach those milestones. That's that's the pinnacle of rugby league for me. So. Yeah, so exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, to think, you know, the path that I've been through, you know, Chance has probably got a similar path as well. And, you know, to kind of see, you know, we've all kind of been on the same path, but just gone on different journeys to, you know, representing our international countries um, from the Cook Islands all the way up until the Kiwis. Uh, you know, something, you know, back when I left here was to, so far for me, mm. um, a goal that, um, you know, I didn't, I thought I wouldn't get to um, any time in my career, I guess. And, you know, to do those two games um, definitely means something to, um, to me and my family. That's the one. Throw to you, Jacko, mate. Let's go. All right, boys, we'll rip through these ones. Uh, first one comes for Marata. Favourite try of your career, bro. Love your mahi and welcome back to the Warriors. That is from ISO Liam. His display picture is also Lamello Ball. So <coughs> whatever that's worth. Favourite try. Favourite try. If Holy anything heck. comes to your head. How many? How many? The boys got heaps. Many, few, um, few at centre. Keep few it hums. Keep it oh, nah, Most of mine's have been all of kicks. <laughs> no <laughs> bloody runaways or nothing. But um, yeah, probably um, the one against Sharks this year. Um, my first try for the club. Um, obviously had the likes of Shawnee next to me and, you know, for him to put me through that hole. Um or something, you know, I'll look back later on in my career and it's probably something, um, yeah, I don't admire now, but we'll later on. Let's go. Bit of foreshadowing there with the Sharks try. Um, uh, Chance, I know the boys are all tight. Who's Who have you built a tighter bond with within the team in those little micro groups? I suppose it's a question for both of you. So we know the boys are all tight. Um, who's kind of your, your guys or roomies? And don't throw Freddie under the bus either. <laughs> yeah, poor Freddie's been coughing at that. Yeah. Well, that's a room, yeah. No, that's my bro. He's the egg that follows. There's a bit of drama, <laughs> actually. Yeah, uh, always separate. There's yeah. a bit of drama. Go on. Oh, Go on, Charles. Always he's, separate, bro. Yeah. Nah, he's crack up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's hard, because we're all tight. <laughs> oh, PC. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 not PC. Nah, that's it's, um, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, really enjoying the, the tightness of the group. You know, there's a real good connection around us. Probably, we've got a a good thing going on with our, our back five. So it's probably tighten up with those boys, in, in particular, Mars and, and Dal. I have to obviously rub shoulders with him for a fair bit. So yeah, those two. Das, Mel, and Freddie. Um, what about you, Mudders? <laughs> um, probably Bunty and Adam, for some reason. Probably because they're always in my room, buddy, playing poker all the time. So, <laughs> a few um, big carries in that yeah, tree, yeah. Oh, so, oh, man. Um, probably those two. Um, and this one is also for Murata. Probably. I know you kill it at footy, bro, but what do you do in your spare time? I would love to know. Yeah, so would I, actually. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows. This is going <laughs> to so, peek behind the curtain here. All this guy does is sleep, but <laughs> it's actually true, bro. <laughs> um, probably stay at home a lot and chill in bed. It's probably my way of trying to get away from footballs. Um, but, yeah, I think just growing up, um, me and my old man always used to go fishing. But, you know, since being back, the weather's obviously <laughs> not, <laughs> ideal. Not, not ideal. Like that. So, um, yeah, whenever we can, I'd like to, you know, me and my old man go out on the waters for a little bit. And um, hopefully that'll be sometime soon. That's mad. I didn't know that. Nuck, there you go. Most, uh, this was a good one. It always comes through, boys. But I'll throw to you, Chance. Most underrated player in your team at the moment. So um, a few nominees lately have been Marcelo. Uh, I think Joshy Curran got a mention at one point. Uh, anyone that springs to mind? Underrated. That's plain or can be... Can be whatever, mate. I reckon the bro, Ali, eh? Mm. Yeah. Man, he's far for Le a tar. kid. Those kids coming through, him and Dummy too. Man, they're like just turned 20. Yeah. F- freaks. I think he played halfback against Rabbitohs. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and he, and he killed it. And he killed it. And then he debuted the next he week debuted. against Raiders. Yeah, so Ali and Dums. Fans have sort of been asking as well. I won't ask you guys for a proper medical update, but how is Ali tracking? Because I know he, he played the one game and then he got hurt, but um, how's he how's he travelling at the moment, just in terms of around the group? Um, I think he's he hasn't been on the field yet, eh? Um, yeah. But um, hopefully he will be in the next couple of weeks, so um, I'm not too sure, to be honest. Yeah, he's in good spirits. He's walking around always with a smile on his face, which is good, and the boys just re-signed, so bigger smile. Yeah, yeah, congrats. <laughs> congrats. <laughs> congrats. Um, pockets. 
I loved how uh, he came up and he said, I've only played one game, so I don't know why he's resigned. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> too humble there, kid. Sneaky line. Uh, last one, boys, then we'll get you out of here. This one comes from Ty Bishop. Um, who is your favorite athlete outside of the NRL? Either someone you idolized growing up or potentially someone who you love watching at the moment. So non-footy player, non-footy. favorite athlete. We'll start with you, Nuck. Hmm. Um, <laughs> oh, I don't I don't know if they yeah. put me on the spot, but if I had to pick one, I've always been intrigued. Oh, it, does, it can't be a footy player. Eh? So it's footy legal union. <laughs> Can be whatever you like, mate. It's your question. Ask <laughs> specific. Ask specific. I don't know, mate. Ask question. He's just a fan question, uh, bro. Sorry, fan was yeah, that. We'll um, go back to the fan. Yeah. Eh? yeah. Um, I'll go too. Um, I seen the perfect ten of Dan Carter, his doco. That was that was mean, bro. Just to see inside his his yeah. headspace. He's got a, a Dan Carter book. Uh, that's obviously his book. <laughs> <laughs> he just brought out a new book, Dan Carter and Conor, Conor McGregor, man. Just the way they, they hold themselves and yep. uh, I guess their mental space, pretty mm. crazy. Marata? Um, <laughs> I come across the um, Mark Hunt docker on the airplane, actually, and it wasn't more so the fighting side of um, the docker. It was more what he went through and it was kind of aligned with you know my pathway, I guess. Um, so if you're on the airplane on New Zealand, have a little look. Even an Air New Zealand plug. The boys are in We've got some intrusion. So you wrap it up, Benny. We'll we'll wrap it up, eh? Because the boys have got some promo going on. But cheers for jumping on, lads, as a fan. It's been unreal to see you back at the club and uh, excited for what the rest of the year brings. Appreciate the chat and good luck this weekend. Nice. Thanks, boys. Let's go.